Did the mocap artist for Master Chief just accidentally reveal the release date of Halo Infinite? Well, in this video, we're gonna go into everything, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content like this, and make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo. And as we do on this channel, we're on the constant search for any little tidbits of information and news when it comes to Halo Infinite. And today we got a special little treat for you guys. So the mocap artist for Master Chief, Bruce Thomas, recently went on a podcast called the Dan Allen Gaming Show, or basically it's just kind of a live streaming kind of interview kind of show, similar into a podcast kind of format, uh, mainly because they wanted to talk about his character Adler within Call of Duty Cold War. And so like 99% of this entire podcast, it's him talking about Adler, which really insightful, a great listen. If you guys enjoy Call of Duty and especially the character of Adler, which I'm playing through the campaign right now on Call of Duty and it's pretty good, not gonna lie and uh being able to kind of get some more insight he does drop some net lines from the game and stuff like that so it's a really fun watch if you guys want to check it out link in the description down below but first we'll take you to the part i'm sure you're really concerned about the halo infinite stuff so i put the timestamp in right here so i can show you guys exactly what they're talking about but let's kind of just review this real quick to kind of so you can see for yourself what they're actually talking about with all the context involving this as well so i'm not taking anything out of context it's just exactly what they're saying here a lot of a lot of you guys might not know that uh, Bruce here also did the mocap for Master Chief, didn't you, Bruce? Right. How's that experience? Right. I still do. I started Halo Four, did Halo Five as well, and uh, we have wrapped up uh, Infinite. Infinite I, yeah. I believe, uh, unless we're <laughs> yeah. gonna try to, well, unless we're going to try to do some more yeah. as the COVID um, comes to a halt. But um, but yeah, as far as I know, it's in the can. I'm um, ready to go for next spring. Yeah. Oh, Web, there, there it is. That's the that's the whole clip where he's talking about Halo Infinite, you know, right there. And I mean, that's pretty clear saying that you have it all packaged up, ready to go for spring. So could we still see a spring release for Halo Infinite? Very likely. Does this actually confirm the release of Halo Infinite going to be in spring? No, it doesn't. Bruce kind of leaves it open a little bit. It sounds like that they want to capture more content that they could definitely do that which would certainly push the release date to possibly a fall release which basically the two different time frames people have been saying is either spring anywhere between like march to june or in the fall like october to november era and i think that's kind of why we've been so late on hearing any kind of information or news when it comes to the release date of halo infinite because this delay has offered 343 so much more opportunity to do more with the game within some more time. So they probably figure out what can we accomplish for a spring release and what can we accomplish for a fall release. Now, I would say that Bruce probably does have a decent idea of when Halo Infinite would be released. I mean, you would think that he would have some time frame of understanding when his work would be released to the public as he'll probably need to go around some more to do some interviews like he's doing right here for Call of Duty Cold War. He'll probably need to go off and do the same thing for Halo Infinite so he needs to plan his schedule around that because he has multiple acting jobs within other parts of you know the acting world and things like that so you know he needs to schedule out his life properly and I think that 343 would at least would give him the information to do that you know well at least well enough and so it seems like a spring release could be highly likely so like I said he kind of does leave it open so in case they do if they do need more work completed then, well, you know, they can do that and then possibly push the release date to a later date. Though with the current situation going on in the world, US cases are spiking at the highest they've ever been within the US. I highly doubt that they would call him in to do any motion capture work. They do mention within this podcast that when COVID actually hit during the Call of Duty Cold War development, that he was only actually able to do the mocap for like maybe 60% of everything that Adler was in the game. And then they actually had to get other people from the studio to do the motion capture for him to kind of fill out the rest. He was like, I don't know how the animators did that. That must have had like four times the workload. 
to what they wanted to accomplish. So this definitely could be the same thing as well, where if 343 decides to add more content to Halo Infinite, then they probably would have to go that route to have someone else do the motion capture work and try to just line it up properly with the previously made work. That's just so much extra work and content that I'm sure that's probably another thing that they're considering, you know, at 343 is, well, if we go do and add these extra things, we need to do things like mocap. We can't bring people in. So how do we get that mocap? correctly so you can kind of see where i'm going at where this doesn't confirm a spring release but it sounds like maybe for right now at the moment we're kind of going towards a spring release we do know that uh, sketch mentioned on reddit that they're looking to kind of restart the hype train when it comes to halo infinite you know, early 2021 and then would that would just make me think that you wouldn't start the hype train you know 10 months in advance of the game's release you would want to start it out you know probably like I don't know, three or four months before the release of the game. I mean, essentially, the hype train started in July with the gameplay demo reveal, and then for that whole month, and then it just kind of, boom, died off right with the delay announcement. And as soon as we get that high level update, I guarantee you I will make a video on this channel, guys, so you guys can stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So for right now, it looks like we're poised for a spring release for Halo Infinite. So I'm pretty excited about that. The sooner the better, but of course I want it done properly. If you guys like these kind of videos or been out of the loop for the last few days or so, want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, check out the videos on the screen over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.